tropical depression has formed in the Caribbean and could return in strength this weekend. If the system intensifies, it would be the ninth main system this hurricane season. Let's bring in CBS News meteorologist and climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. Jeff, how big of a threat to the U.S. is this tropical system? I think it's a very big threat. In fact, we should watch this really closely. You know, there are two things that really bother me about this system. First of all, I was a meteorologist in Florida for 16 years. I've seen a lot of hurricanes. This one has every indication that it is going to rapidly intensify across the Gulf of Mexico. Could very well become a major hurricane. Number two, it's only 72 hours away. So if it becomes a really strong hurricane, which we think it's very possible it will, people do not have that much time to prepare. They're probably not going to be expecting what is a very major hurricane that's headed in the general direction of Louisiana. So this one is one we have, need to really watch very closely. So let me just show you first where the system is located. So it's just to the west of Jamaica, approaching the Cayman Islands as we speak, just starting to get itself organized. It's already a tropical storm. Was a depression, now a tropical storm item. This is the official forecast track from the National Hurricane Center. They make it a top-end Category 2 before making landfall somewhere around the Louisiana coast. could be a little farther east or farther west. But really, this would almost be a worst-case scenario for New Orleans if it went straight down the middle or just to the right of this, just to the east of this track. Now, they have it as a Category 2, but whenever they're predicting a Category 2, you need to prepare for a Category 3 storm. And let me show you why I think it's very possible. Because take a look at the ocean heat content. So this is not only heat at the surface of the ocean, but heat at the depths of the ocean. And some of the hottest water in the world exists here in the Caribbean and into the Florida loop current. And look where the storm is going, right smack dab over the loop current. The atmospheric winds are going to be very conducive for development. And then once it gets done with the loop current, look at the water. Look at the purples just off the coast of Louisiana. Water temperatures 88 to 90 degrees, some of the warmest water that we have in the United States is just off the coast of Louisiana. So the end result is this. This is the European model. There are other models with other solutions, but generally they're all pretty strong. You can see the European model bringing the storm in towards Morgan City as we head into Sunday night and Monday morning. Where you see the light, those are wind gusts over 100 miles an hour. So lots of potential with this system. But there are other models, the American model, which is further east, closer to the New Orleans area. But notice where the winds are coming in from New Orleans, from the southeast, forcing all this water into this corner. Notice the right angle of the coast, just to the east of New Orleans, to the south of Biloxi. That's going to force a lot of water up and it's a storm surge into the New Orleans area. We're worried about that. And then in addition to that, a lot of heavy rainfall because once it gets to the coast, it's going to slow down to some degree once again. So you can see a lot of areas, 8 to 12 plus inches of rain. So this truly is a serious situation. And if it does move towards New Orleans, this would be a very bad scenario. So people need to be prepared starting now. That really important information, Jeff, and I appreciate you showing us those waters because we know how those warm waters can supercharge uh, hurricanes. Uh, so when you say be prepared, what are you advising people in New Orleans to do right now, given what you're seeing? Well, people in New Orleans know this, and hopefully they already are prepared to some degree. So first of all, you need to have a hurricane safety kit. So the typical stuff, in it. you need to make sure you have a flashlight. If you have a generator, great. If you don't have one, you can get one. That would be wonderful. You want to make sure you have medications for you, for your family members, food for your pet, or a place to bring your pet in case you're forced to evacuate. There's a lot of things on that hurricane safety kit. So go online, look for instructions on putting together one of those. And if you already have one, top it off. Make sure you have gas in your car, all those things. Uh, in addition to that, pay very close attention to local authorities. If they tell you to evacuate, you've been through this in New Orleans, you need five, ten feet of water. It's not out of the question with a storm that's you know, coming from that direction towards New Orleans. You need to prepare for storm surge flooding. So the bottom line is, is make sure you have a plan. Know exactly what your family is going to do if an evacuation order is issued. And make sure you have that hurricane safety kit. Good practical advice, Jeff. Thank you.